Howdy 2021ers, this is Professor Kaufman with a quick set of tricks associated with editing assembly in VS Code. Out of the box, VS Code, like many editors, isn't equipped to edit assembly code particularly well. You can see that here where I have opened up some code that we'll be studying in Lab 7, and it having the .s extension, which is typical for assembly code. Uh, and you can see over here the display for it is not particularly pretty. It's just created all as sort of raw text right now, uh, despite obviously there being some things in here that should be colored, like comments. Uh, VS Code is a prize to the fact that it isn't aware of everything out of the box, and you can see a suggestion down here that you search the marketplace uh, for an extension that would enable a more salient experience uh, on assembly. So I'll punch the little search marketplace button uh, and does so uh, by looking for modes that support .s or assembly code editing. There are a bunch of options here, but the one I found works out of the box probably the best in terms of experience is this GNU assembler language support. And this is because we'll be making use of most of the conventions that the GNU assembler follows as we work on these x86 uh, and x86-64 file languages. Uh, there is not much to this thing, uh, just install it. And then as I come back over here uh, to the Explorer uh, and pop open this file, you can see syntax highlighting is now enabled. The other important trick to be aware of then uh, is that there will be times you want to experiment with some assembly code, uh, but not necessarily commit to it. Uh, to that end, it is good to know how to block comment and uncomment code in any editor. This is fairly easy in VS Code. If you highlight some code here and say, for the moment, I want to suspend executing this, uh, not feed it to the compiler or the assembler, the keystroke control forward slash uh, will toggle that to be commented. Now you notice here that uh, this particular editing mode in assembly has chosen to use the C syntax, uh, a couple forward slashes to comment this out. This is just fine. It might be mildly preferable to use the standard syntax of a hash for comments, but the GNU toolchain accepts this as valid comment syntax uh, so we don't have to worry. Uh, later on, if I decide if I, uh, that I want to actually execute, compile and execute uh, parts of this or all of it, uh, I can highlight again and again press control forward slash to toggle the commenting. Uh, so this has become, uh, again, uh, live code once again. Uh, and I can do that down here uh, to comment, uh, re sort of uncomment uh, this part uh, to make it live once again. So to that end, uh, there's some nice tricks then. Once you have an assembly editing mode built into your editor, uh, usually as easy as ex installing an extension, uh, and you have some of these editing tricks like the ability to block comment and uncomment, and that carries into C code as well, your editing experience in assembly will be much more pleasant. I look forward to seeing you in lecture, and uh, uh, good luck uh, with your assembly coding. <laughs>